Hi, so today I'll be talking about Asperger's syndrome to make people more aware of what autism is, a, a type of autism that people can get, what people with Asperger's syndrome will be experiencing and the symptoms of Asperger's syndrome. I'm going to start with the history of Asperger's syndrome. So the founder of Asperger's syndrome was Hans Asperger. He was a Viennese physician who recognised the disorder in the 1940s. Hans Asperger wrote about the disorder and did scientific experiments with children. He eventually had his name applied to the diagnostic category. He identified a pattern of behaviour and abilities in four boys that he called autistic psychopathy. The pattern included a lack of empathy, little ability to form friendships, one-sided conversation, intense absorption in a special interest and clumsy movements. So, what is Asperger's syndrome? Although symptoms and behaviours are shown at childhood, some people are not diagnosed until adulthood. They may struggle to communicate as they don't understand sarcasm or jokes. People with Asperger's syndrome cannot pick up on unsaid thoughts and feelings. They are normally really good at something because they take an isolated area of interest at childhood. For example, fixing things, or history, or racing. They may be distressed in social situations and are not good at creating social relationships. So how is Asperger's diagnosed? So diagnosis is usually carried out by a multidisciplinary team. It takes two to three hours and is based on interviews and observation. Asperger's syndrome is not diagnosed until the age of at least six, but is often diagnosed much later, including being diagnosed in adulthood. To diagnose someone with Asperger's syndrome, there are three key questions asked. Does the person have significant social difficulties? The person's communication skills? and the person's narrow, unusual and strong interests, as well as a usually repetitive behaviour. Each of these questions has specific criteria. The person has to meet to di be diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. The diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome is in the DSM-4. This is a guide that all professionals use to diagnose mental disorders. So let's talk about the symptoms of someone with Asperger's syndrome. So there are some common symptoms. The sim they may vary and are different for each person. They range from mild to severe. A person with Asperger's syndrome will find it difficult to make friends as they find it difficult to interact with others and often are awkward in social situations. Some people can develop repetitive movements like hand wringing or finger twisting. Unusual rituals can include getting dressed in a specific order. These rituals are rituals that he or she refuses to alter. The people with Asperger's syndrome generally do not make eye contact and do not understand body language or language in context, for example, sarcasm. They also have trouble using facial expressions and gestures. Someone with Asperger's syndrome may develop an almost obsessive or intense interest for example, on statistics, weather, history, or maps. The movements of someone with Asperger's syndrome may seem clumsy or awkward. Many children with Asperger's syndrome are talented or skilled in a particular area, such as maths. This is due to their limited range of interests. Treatment. So there is no cure for Asperger's syndrome, but there are treatments to help a child or adult to cope with their symptoms and lead an independent life. These treatments may include social skills and communication cues and social skills training are effective ways of improving social interactions without causing anxiety or distress. It helps people with Asperger's syndrome to make relationships and lead an independent life. CBT is used to provide relief from daily stresses while capitalising their strengths. It is an effective therapy, therapy because it is focused on the patient with Asperger's syndrome and focused on their strengths. 
However, it's only provided to adults with Asperger's syndrome, so it's ineffective for children. CBT is used for the later diagnosis or later in life after childhood. This is not useful as Asperger's syndrome develops in childhood. Parent education and training and educational interventions are effective in providing adequate education for the child with Asperger's syndrome and creating a strong parent relationship. Educating the parents on Asperger's syndrome helps them understand the needs of their child and understand their social development. Behavioural modification is used to increase desired behaviours in the child. It is like classical conditioning. It is used to recognise behaviours and their triggers and then increase or decrease that behaviour. This is an effective way of teaching a child with Asperger's certain behaviours like making the bed. Thank you for listening and let's make more people aware of mental health. Let's get talking about mental health and expect more videos on more mental health conditions and mental health awareness. And I will also do some on meningitis and the charity Meningitis Now. Again, thank you for listening. And thank you for being a part of getting mental health awareness out there.